Yo, GPJ here. In endgame content, especially in turn-based game, speed and turn order is king. And there is no greater way to prove skill in Memory of Chaos Zero Cycle Showcases. However, if you notice, most of the Zero Cycle Showcase clears involves this specific set. I'm of course talking about the Four Piece Eagle set. The Four Piece set is the foundation on why so many characters can get much faster speed and much faster turn than they would normally appear to be. After the wearer uses their ultimate, their action is advanced forward by 25%. And this 25% directly affects how much effective speed in a cycle of Memory of Chaos. I'm using Sampo right here. My Sampo's stat is 153 total speed with a base of 102. He does not have any Lycon that can increase his speed from him and all of his traces cannot increase his speed. As well as if you take a look at his Eidolons, none of his Eidolons actually are able to increase his speed. The only way for him to advance himself forward is by using his ultimate. Now, Sampo has a base of 102, and from my stats, he has 153 total speed, and he has a 25% advance forward from Eagle Set. If you want to make Sampo to go three times in a single Memory of Chaos cycle, by utilizing only his stats and the four piece eagle, three turns is 30,000. For every turn is 10,000. Minus 2,500. This is the 25% advance forward. In a single memory of chaos cycle, it is 150. Each extra cycle, you will add an increment of 100. So if you are going for, let's say, three turns in a two cycle, this 150 will become 250, three cycle, 350, so on and so forth. We get a total number of 183.33 speed. This is the minimum required speed in order to go three times in a single cycle. Since he has only 153 total speed, you can't really do that. If we take a look from his teammates right here, you can see that in this showcase, I would like to pair him with March 7th because of her skill that increases sample speed by 10%, Tingyan here, because again, faster ultimate uptime, but also dance, 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 an extra 24% advance forward her relics, a four piece messenger in order to increase samples an extra 12%. If you have Eidolon 1, after using their ultimate, the ally with benediction gains a 20% increase in speed for one turn. So basically, sample will gain an extra advance forward as well as an extra speed in order to bump himself up in the turn order. March 7th, Hunt, a 10% speed buff, Ting Yun's Eidolon 1, that gives a 20% speed buff after sample ult, the Dance 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 at S5, that gives 24% advance forward, and an extra 12% speed increase from the 4-piece messenger. If we tabulate all of this, Sample's effective speed, 153, that is the total speed, 10.2, that is the base speed, times 3, and you get 183.6 speed. Without including advance forward, this is the number that you would get. Let's take a look at all of this in one memory of chaos cycle. 30,000, three turns, 25% advance forward from the four piece eagle, 2,400 from the Dance 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 S5, and in a single memory of chaos cycle. Now, remember that this was the total minimum required speed in order to go three turns in a single cycle. And you can see if we get that, 167.3, three cycles is possible. Let's test it out. You can see it here, we're at floor 9 of Memory of Chaos and all of the teammates that you see right here, Japard, Tingyun, Sampo, and March. Let's get to it. Now, since we're in this floor right now, we need to make sure that we have all of our buffs. So March buff, Tingyun Benediction buff or Ultimate buff ready, Shield for survivability, and Sampo's technique that allows the enemy to get sent back in the turn order. And here we go. Now, we immediately ult before everyone takes a turn in order to advance everybody forward. We ult on Sampo. So that Sampo has energy. And also, if we take a look at his current step right now, you can see that he is at 165 total speed. We add that with March 7th skill. And... So he's at 175 speed. Now, we don't ult immediately. We need to make sure that we have Benediction before we ult. So let's just do a basic attack, just for funsies. 
The main goal here is to prove to you that Sample can achieve a, th a three turn cycle. He can act three times in a single cycle. So let me just buff Sample right here. We're gonna ult with Sample after this, but let's just do a basic and then we prep Sample's ult right now. You can see that on the left of the action bar right there, Sample's position is above March. He was below uh, Tingyan, and if we take a look at his speed, you can see that he has 163. After the ult, he will get advanced forward thanks to the 4-piece eagle set. You can see that all of this buffs right here, and after this, he will also get an extra 20% speed. So, let's just see that in action. Notice, on the left there, Tingyan is above Sampo, and after this, Sampo is above March. Now, Sampo is already act once, and after this guy, he will act one more time. Now, notice there on the action bar also, after Sample, March will get uh, advanced forward thanks to the way that March's basic attack works. And notice on the bottom there, just before the cycle ends, Sample can immediately do another action, therefore completing the three turn action in a single cycle. This is just a showcase just to demonstrate how powerful advance forward and speed manipulation really is. This is one of the reasons why 4-piece Eagle is such a coveted, not really a coveted, is such a versatile relic set for everybody that wants to go as fast as possible without necessarily the speed required for it. Now that we have a basic understanding on how advance forward works and how speed manipulation works, as well as why Eagle Set is broken, I would like for you to take a moment to check who can use Eagle Set the most. If we take a look at the character roster, you can see that all of these characters right here, 90% of the time, if it's a debuffer, Pela will be at the top here because she relies on her ultimate. Her ultimate is just that good. If the enemy is debuffed after Pela's attack, Pela will restore 10 additional energy. Her ultimate, a 40% defense reduction, not including also if you have resolution as well. If you see Acheron zero cycles, there's a pretty good chance that Pela uses a four piece eco set in order to get her ultimate as fast as possible before the next wave of enemy starts. Sample, even though that he can use it, you would rarely uh, use his ultimate often except to apply that dot vulnerability, but he doesn't really offer much outside of that and his dot vulnerability actually lasts quite a long time so you don't really need to use 4-piece eagle even though that you can if you want to. For the other characters, again, Dan Hong, you know, self-explanatory, he can use it, of course. March is quite a good client candidate to use it since you can get her ultimate quite often. Destruction unit, none of them can realistically use it since they are slow. Except for maybe if you're going for a like a freeze bot Misha, a freeze bot Misha could be good. Erudition units, none of them can really work it, unlucky for them. Harmony units, if you're like, again, you want to make sure that your ultimate is used as fast as possible and units can gain as much actions as possible. Most of these characters like Bronya. Bronya can obviously use it very, very well. Tingyan, she could gain another turn to increase uh, skill point recovery. Preservation units, you only need them to make sure that the team survives, so just build them with enough speed to go twice. For the upcoming characters, Jiao Chu could work, but again, since his ultimate is tied to his turn and you want to make sure that uh, it lasts as long as possible, I would really doubt that it would work as effectively but we'll just have to see until it officially comes out. Overall, this is why the Eagle set and advanced forwards are very much valuable. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed this type of video in order to break down more stats in the future. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and see you around.